side, 2.27 to go, fourth and one, balls on the 43-yard line, 2A state championship. Desark has the ball. They've just got to go three feet to maintain possession and to continue to run this clock out. Holloway going under center. Takes it, pitches back. He's going to lower oh his shoulders and nowhere to go. It's going to be a loss of a yard and a big turner over on downs. Junction City going to get an opportunity to take this one away from the Eagles. Yeah, 40 and 15 on the tackle. Devin Ball, we've called his name all night long. And Rodney Larry on the tackle as well. What a huge stop. Randy now with 2.22 left, three timeouts. Uh, let's see what kind of offense this Junction City coaching staff draws up. Wind's going to continue to blow, and you know Junction City's going to keep it on the ground. They've got all three of their timeouts. First and 10 from the 44. The Dragons going to march up. John Carter going to take it under center from the I formation. Hands it off to Ross in the backfield. He lowers his shoulders for a gain of four. Going to get it up to the 48-yard line. It'll be second down and six. And you got to be in the hurry up here. You got to hurry, hurry, hurry and get into that huddle. They're going to run the play in every time, and I wonder if that's not going to cost them in the end. They've still got all three timeouts. Now out of the wishbone. Hands it off to Ross in the backfield. He's going to get up to midfield, breaks a tackle, going to run out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Gets across the first down marker, plus about a yard and a half. First and 10 from the 44 in Eagle territory, and they stop the clock. And you're going to have to see a lot more of that from Junction City here in the last minute and 46 seconds because they've got to get out of bounds to stop the clock. They do have those three timeouts so they can afford to run it up the middle or, or, or try some other plays a few times. But in order to use that clock efficiently, they're going to have to really use the sidelines. Hands it off to Kennedy. He goes around the right side, a gain of about a yard on the play. He gets knocked down at the knees. It's going to be second and nine from the 43. Big stop by Brent Calhoun, bringing him down by the legs, wrapping up and not letting him go anywhere. And as you said, Randy, maybe a yard on the play, and the clock runs under a minute and 25 seconds. It's Desert defense trying to get their fans behind them, and the Eagles fans have come alive. Seats are empty because everybody's on their feet. Hands it off to Ross. He's oh caught boy. up in the backfield, oh brought down at the 46-yard line, and they're going to have to take a timeout, but it's going to be a loss of yards, a loss of about three, so it'll bring up third down and 13. Randy, there's, there's just enough time left to run that kind of offense, you know? Just absolutely not enough time. They're going to call a timeout. One you, minute. Six seconds on the clock, and they take their first time out. It's probably going to be the longest minute and six seconds <laughs> in Junction City history. Wow. They've got two more timeouts, and you know they can't get out of bounds. They're going to call those timeouts after every play. And you can't, you can't guarantee that you're going to be able to get out of bounds even when you run the ball outside. When you pass the ball outside, you feel like you've got a chance for either an incompletion or he gets out of bounds or you get a completion for a first down. But, uh, you know, still have not completed a pass tonight. Junction City, 46 carries, 169 yards on the ground. 0 for 7 in the air. Yeah, they lead in total offense, but that air stat is what's killed them. They have not been able to complete uh, those passes and pick up first downs, and now then the spread formation again. Carter out of the gun, four wide receivers set. There's oh, movement. Started early. There is movement. The umpire throws the flag first. Good ball, false start on the offense. Five yard penalty, replay for oh. them. And the Desert fans going crazy on that far sideline. <laughs> Randy, they can smell it, they can feel it. A minute and six seconds left, but they've got to get at least one more, maybe two more stops here. Obviously, it'll be four down territory no matter what. And uh, forcing that third down and long is going to be a big play for them. Third down and 16 from midfield, and we got another flag on the play. They're going to blow it dead. I believe there was a timeout by Desarc. Maybe they, they didn't feel like they okay. were set. Desarc. 
All That's right. the final timeout this half. Desert's going to take their final one, and we will take it with them. One minute and six seconds on the clock. It's eight to seven. Junction City has the ball with third down and 16 from midfield. We'll see if they can make something happen on the other side of this break. You're two. It's a 2A state championship football game. Final football game of the 2008 season. Only a minute, six seconds left on the clock. Junction City, third and 16 from midfield, coming out of the gun. Carter drops back to pass. He's got pressure. There's a man downfield, caught at the 30-yard line. It's going to be first and 10. A huge catch huge for play. Allen Turner going down the field. 16, 17, 18-yard play on, on that pass. Wow. So uh, finally, finally Junction City connecting and getting the first down in the air. Yeah, what a great time for your first completion. Now got to hurry up to the ball. 59.3 seconds left on the clock, and it begins rolling. Again out of the gun. First and 10. Carter dropping back to pass. It's caught at the 25. Stopped at the 15. And they're going to stop the clock, saying he got knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. It's a 12-yard pickup. Well, Pass Rand is complete to Christopher Darden. <laughs> and Randy, now you know what they're thinking. They're thinking, hey, don't you wish we had that kickback earlier, but we might get one more chance to kick a field goal to win this game if we can't go down and get a score here with 45 seconds left. And now Desarc's got a play to keep them from getting any more yardage. Spreading it out. Three wide receiver set on the near side. Carter. Going to roll back. He's got a man oh in his boy. face. Oh Huge boy. sack. Huge sack at the 30-yard line. Number 32 for Desart. Nicholas Holloway running through the line and mowing him down. Unbelievable. And that loss of yardage, Randy, takes him out of field goal range, even with the wind, unless you're just doing it for desperation. It now becomes second down and a very long, and they're going to have to try to work their way back into field goal position with just 37.4 seconds left, and they wisely use their final timeout. Absolutely amazing. Well, second down and 20 from the 28-yard line. They've got to get to the 8-yard line for a first down. What a great game, Randy. Might be one of the best games we've seen this year. Four wide receivers set, trips to the far side, one to the near. Carter looking to pass, under pressure again. He's oh going to try to go by himself, gets to the 15-yard line, 14-yard line, and going to stop the clock because he runs out of bounds. Carter picking up some huge yardage for this Junction City Dragon team, and that will stop the clock with 30 seconds to go in this championship football game. Got that big chunk of yardage back. They lost on the sack, and now a chance for a very manageable third down play. And they do kind of have to think about getting a first down as well as working their way into to touchdown territory. Let's see what they do here on third. Neither team has a timeout, so Junction City going to have to get it out of bounds to stop the clock. Carter dropping back to pass. Caught at the eight yard line and hit immediately. And they're going to keep it in bounds. The clock's going to continue to roll. He stopped him at the 10 yard line. It's going to be. They're running out the field goal team, Randy. 15 seconds left. They've got fourth no time down out. and two. Clock continues to roll. 10 seconds to go. They're trying to get set. Five seconds to go. Three seconds to go. One second to go. They get the kick down. And it is good. good! Junction City wins the ball game by two on a last minute field goal. 13 to eight is the score, and the Junction City Dragons come alive! That's the great thing about television, Randy. I got to take a minute there, just unbelievable, and the ultimate feeling of success and the heartbreak all at the same time split second 1.5 seconds on the clock when they snapped the ball I, I thought Desark was going to get back there and block that kick just because Junction City barely had time to get set what great poise 
to be able to get that kickoff. Unbelievable. And you got to give all the credit in the world there to number four for Junction City, Darius Dixon, who puts it to the uprights after missing one earlier. But game of the game of the year, maybe. Has, by far. has to be a game of the year by far in this 2008 football season. A class of 2A. <laughs> And the Junction City folks are coming up here clenching their chest. And that's a happy team to win it wow. at the last second. An amazing win by the Junction City Dragons. They increased their lead overall 13-0. Coach Tim Harper falls 13-1. Both teams coming in undefeated. Only been in the state title one time apiece. Junction City came in last time. And 03 and won this game, excuse me. They've been here three times, 03, 06, and this year, and they pulled it out for the second time in school history. Uh, what a <laughs> – I, I, I go back to uh, to just watching this these two teams, and, and throughout this game you felt like uh, both teams held on to the momentum for a while both ways, but for Junction City they proved that football, anything can happen at any time. One play decides this game. And uh, we'll go down to the field for the Brandon Burlesworth uh, Foundation Award. On the football.